bagel bites <clears throat> were all I had that I could dip in the Nutella. And I was like, hmm, I'm not sure this is going to be a good combination because you don't usually put Nutella or chocolate. You know, it's it's like, you know, it's con conflicting. I have conflicting ideas and, and theories about what, what you need to do with that kind of thing. But it was amazing. And I don't regret it. So. Oh, Castle Miner Z is now on... Um, is now on Steam. It, where's uh, Five Night at Freddy Craft? Is that is that on there? Hmm. No, I don't see it. That's a shame. Well, we're gonna do some Darkest Dungeon. It's no Five Nights at Freddy Craft, but it's pretty good. <laughs> no, I did not use the garlic powder. Ruin has come to our family. That would have been r ruin is what I would have been had I done anything with the garlic house. powder. Nope. Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. St stoic I perch. I lived all my years in that. So, there's an update for um, Half-Life. It's a fan-made update. It's just called... Um, Half-Life 2 Update. And it's basically just better lighting and better fog and stuff. And it makes Half-Life 2 look a little bit better. Um, actually, quite a bit better. The lighting definitely makes it more... I would say I a, a much more... when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern much more atmospheric but um at the moment it's just um yeah you have to download it. it's like six gigs to download it so i downloaded it and i just realized i've never streamed half-life 2 in full so you guys want a half-life 2 stream or what um also for someone who's pretty familiar with half-life 2 who uh, how long do you think it would take to, to play through that game on the medium difficulty? Six hours. 10 to 12, most likely a few days. I'd probably try to do it in like two or three days. Difficulty medium would be five hours. Don't be a pleb. See, here's the thing, people, I don't fall into that. I've been streaming long enough to know that that's a trap. You guys would just be like making yourself suffer. Playing games on the hardest difficulty because I'm afraid someone's gonna call me a pleb. I'm over it, I'll tell you why. You know I'm not that great at most video games. Because I play so many different types of games, I never really devote enough time or energy into one specific one to get really, really good at it. Maybe Team Fortress, Counter-Strike, you know, StarCraft 2 for a time, I had my moments. But now, that's I'm not going to be good at video games. So, by me streaming a game on the hardest difficulty, you guys are damaging yourselves by asking me to do that. Because it's just going to be restarting and deaths... And it's going to delay the stream, and you're never going to see... One, I won't be happy. <laughs> and two, it's just going to delay and draw things out. And you get less of a good experience, because I'm just struggling and dying. So, I already am onto that. That's something I've dealt with. And, um... Yeah, I'm not... I don't fall for that. Homie, don't play that. But we love pain and suffering, they say. Some might. For you! Um, Jolin, okay, Willoughby, these guys are, are good. 
Uh, Gale is three. Dismiss. These guys are good. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to... It's been a while, so forgive me. I have to... Um, let's just go on a mission. Let's get right back into the swing of things. I need... Um, what do I need? Portraits or deeds? Warren's short. Short. Okay, this is short. We'll do this one because we need some deeds and portraits, but we'll do the uh, Weald and we'll level up some some people. For example, um, Murdoch. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go back. I'll tell you why I want to go back. Let's see if we get anyone in the stagecoach. Um, probably won't get too much use, but I'll try to maybe hire someone. So I've only got one paladin, or crusader rather. Why don't we get a new one, just as a reserve? So this dude has got healing, he's got uh, protection, zealous accusation, and smite. <clears throat> this person has holy lance, healing, zealous accusation, and smite. HP, dodge, crit, damage 6 to 12. I'm going to go for Bertrand. Oh, we got to dismiss someone or upgrade. Let's see if we can upgrade. Great heroes can be found even here in the mud and rain. All right, we got Bertrand and I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to name him someone from chat. If you say me, you're not it. I'm going to look around and see who do I want to name this um, Crossbone. There's someone in chat named Crossbone. Uh, I like that name. For a Crusader, it's just perfect because it's it, it's not at all like a Crusader. But we'll name, yeah, Crossbone. So who else? Uh, probably could use another Hellion. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savage. If I have to dismiss, I'll dismiss. Ally. And we'll name this one. We'll name this chick. What are we going to call her? Um, I saw someone in chat named Eve. That, that fits. Eve. That works. Unfortunately, we're not taking them with us right now. So, well, next time, maybe. We're going to take Murdoch. We're going to take... Um, we can't take Gale. <clears throat> Gale is too leveled. Oh, shit. So, we're, we're missing a healer. Is Tokenova? He's got some construction, so we need to bring Tokenova with us. Fuck it. No, we don't want to bring fuck it. Um, we could bring Crossbone, perhaps. Crossbone might be a good choice for this. And uh, we'll bring Cryo Snake, just to get that range. I don't think we have another... Well, we... I don't have any good plague doctors, so instead of Cryosnake, I'm gonna bring Cardas. We need to rename Cardas. Car Cardas. And I'm gonna rename Cardas to Garonicus. There's someone in chat named Garonicus. I like that name for a plague doctor. Garonicus is our new plague doctor and needs to be leveled. Binding gas, that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Murdoch up front. Yeah. Let's get some provisions. Eight food. You gotta bring a shovel. Yeah, we'll bring a few things. Let's go for 12 food. 
And um, yeah. Two shovels. All right, there we go. Okay, for those who have not seen Darkest Dungeon, I know there's some new people. I'm not going to try to explain this game too much Corruption because it's has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. I'm not going to try to explain it too much because it's too much to explain. But I will say this: you move around with Make your party, yourself a victim to the spreading corruption. And that red, you can't see my mouse cursor for some reason. This is still a glitch with the game. But um, you can see the red is HP, and below that is stress. If they reach stress 100, they can go insane. Sometimes insanity can make them do some really horrible shit, or it could give them courage. But it's hard to say. You're kind of just... You leave it up to fate, really. And it's scary. When you're playing and you're doing pretty well, and then suddenly your characters start going insane, then that could happen too. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. A singular strike. Oh, I have a new. F okay. What happened to Murdoch? Murdoch just got a new slow reflexes minus one speed. Just from that, he got a new trait that was negative, and that is shitty. Um, let's light up a torch. So torches are very helpful. Torches give you light. They make the battles a little bit easier. And they they give you a chance to see oncoming. So you want to keep your torch level high. Oh yeah, then there's hunger too. If your people start getting too hungry then they they lose damage and they get stressed out so you got to bring food um you can see there's some equipment characters some of them only well only the leper has this right now but you can see his stats in increase so the cool thing about this game is you can just take a break from it for a while and go jump straight back into it like i'm doing right now and i'm really you know you can just go on a few runs, and then uh, you can facepalm like that lady in the statue in the background. Okay, so weakening curse. Uh, minus 25% damage, minus 10% accuracy. Let's do that. So he resisted the weakening. Intim intimidate. Uh, chop. Let's just do a clean chop. Ooh. Alright, so you can see now, based on their positions, is who you can attack. So, Binding Gas. You can see the left, there's the two yellow dots. Those are the positions he can use this from. So if he's in, in spot one or two in the back row, he can use it. Otherwise he can't. And I can only affect these two, because the two red dots are linked. So, one of them stunned. Oh, that is a nasty hit. Tokanova is taking some nasty damage. That's stressing him out. Okay, good dodge, everyone. Um, Confidence nice. As the enemy crumbles. Okay. Tokanova is still alive. We're going to try to use this thing. To heal him. So the occultists have a weird heal. They can make it, one of your allies bleed, but at the chance of potentially healing that person. Um, Noxious Blast. Let's try this. Yeah, give him Blight. Yeah, Blight's like poison. You really, you want to blight up people when you can. It's helpful. Knock him back a row, and he can't do some of his moves, potentially. Potentially. Nice. Give them no quarter. So this is a very weak party with two completely untested party members. 
And now the true test. Hold so fast. Or expire. Nine. Yes, that was a great heal. That was an excellent heal. Okay, that shuffles position, which is po completely pointless in this case. As the fiend nice. Falls, the See that four? Blossoms. Some stress has been healed. Have any of my guys committed suicide yet? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've seen it happen once. It's not fun. Okay, Tokenova's bleeding. I should have brought way more bandages, to be honest. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, if definitely. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they surprised and they reordered my people. That's really bad. Okay, we're going to we're going to try to work with this. Target 15. That's a buff. Just kill that one. Slime. Don't slime me. Don't slime me. Fuck. Slime me. Nickelodeon Studios. Heal one, one. Torch plus five. Stress heal. Okay, the Crusader will heal some stress and buff a little bit. This won't be a difficult fight, to be honest. Yeah. It's not too bad. These it's just rearranging your party. When that happens, it, it fucking blows. No one wants that. be a treasure room. There's a trap here. Disarmed. And some loot. This pack has been looted. And this contains some crests and food. The food is helpful. Okay. Still, still doing alright. He's getting stressed. My occultist fella. Yep, if you lose a guy, they're dead forever. Forever, forever. Eldritch push. Okay, now we have a room battle. And this is not going to be fun. These two, the cultist acolytes, they're kind of... They're kind of cunty. Because they stress your dudes out, basically. So you got to go for them first, in my opinion, because the stress is just awful. And then this can happen. So now this dude is basically in the front, which is shit. Um, let's push that one back. Okay, that, that leaves a few things open. Blight. Nah, resist. Damn it. Try to work the Crusader back to the front if I can. How quickly the tide turns. Oh my god. All that stress, please. Oh, okay, well he's back up front now. So there's at least that. Um I can't heal from up here, so. Let's just take her out. And then we have these... I hate these fucking mushroom assholes. Fungal Scratcher. Fungal Scratcher. Tell me that doesn't remind you of someone's balls. Pull you up front. That way we can kill you more easily. Ultrich push. I hate that move. Oh, resist. Good and resist, Murdoch. Um, binding gas. Let's do the binding gas. Oh, no, no, no. It's not worth it. Okay. Kill. Roping swipe. 
fungal scratcher. Tater Scrotum's cousin. There you go. Or that's just the name of Wario's, like... Wario keeps, like, a fork in his possession that he just... Yeah. Damn it. Right, it's time to heal up a little bit. Keyword, a little bit. So now we have uh, more healing to do, I think. Resist. They resist the plague. Such a terrible assault cannot be answered. Heal some of that stress. Ah, oh, the zealous accusation is so necessary and he keeps missing it. Gotta keep healing. Crossbone. Alright. One's down. There's hope. Stress is being healed slightly. Chop? Nope, no chop. Smite! Chop! Dead! This expedition at least promises success. Hey, we did it. That was it. Trapped. Um, I'm gonna keep moving. That was- there was only one room battle. It just said the goal was to complete all the room battles. Um, I'm thinking we can- we can move on a bit. Okay, so we get another fight. Some reward potential here. Do we want to try to stun or shuffle? I'm gonna try to shuffle. Nice. That puts her in range. Yes! Yes! Crits usually heal stress. Or they do heal stress, but, you know, to varying degrees. But that was nice. Come on. Accuse them! Reeling. About to break. God damn it. You got from the go <laughs> A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. I know it might not be worth it to keep going because of the stress, but... In Radiance, may we find victory. Just one more room. We know there's no battle in this room, so maybe there's some kind of treasure. Maybe we can scout ahead a bit. No, no scouting. Alright, well this- this is bad, so I think I might just abandon this fight. Retreat from co oh, fuck. In a single Jeez, now we're getting stressed out. Cornered, trapped, and forced to fight on. Alright. The agents of pestilence will- Worked out, we got some good rewards. There was no camping, it was a very short mission. Oh, Murdoch is now level 3, so I can't use him on these small missions anymore. Um, on these low-level missions. Lockjaw. That is terrible. Minus 5 accuracy, minus 10 damage. Plus 15 stun resist. 
Health below 50, minus 3 crit. Ruins, um, scrounger. Scouting chance, okay. Do I have a particularly itchy beard? No, it's just a habit. I just tend to... When I think, or when I'm playing games with the mouse, I tend to just kind of... It's it's not that it's itchy or anything. It's just a habit. It's a weird habit. So then you can see what's going on in town. Let's see. So, Gronicus is level 1. Crossbones, level 1. Murdoch, level 3. Joland underwent effective treatment. Syphilis is gone. <laughs> Dismiss went... Effective treatment. Reynold engaged in flagellation and recovered stress. Is no longer fearful. Willoughby recovered. Okay. So we have a few other things that, that have to be done. We have to cure some... Some stress. Some people are stressed out. That, that's no that's no good. Dismiss. I think he likes... I think he likes whores. Uh, maybe he'll... Yeah, he needs some penance. Alright, we need to get rid of Murdoch's thing here, because that is that is just terrible. Lockjaw? Awful. And we'll also remove someone else's um, awfulness in a minute. We're going to go on a slightly higher level quest. Maybe Garonicus. God-fearing. No, that's not too bad. We're gonna bring Willoughby. Tokenova, what, what do you have? Anemic. Fascinated with injury. So we're gonna bring Reynold with us. We'll bring Willoughby. Scrotes. And... And Gale. So... We'll... We'll... Heal... Fold it a bit. Stress resist. Monster type. This is to remove their negative features for anyone who's totally... Just lost. Minus 20% stress resist. Severe fear of enclosing spaces. Um, well, maybe we'll bring him. Let's see, what has Reynold got? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, Follett probably could use a few things. Uh, he gets stressed out easily, so let's, let's fix that. Okay, so then you can kind of go and upgrade your weapons. Which I've done with Reynold. Let's see, have I done it with Willoughby? Yep, done it with Willoughby. Done did it with the doctor on a helicopter. Um, armor for Scrotes. And let's see. So we have a whole new set of people we don't need. Embark. Kill one hag. You guys want to try to kill a hag? It's going to be a little hard, but I'm going to try to kill the hag. And Gale. Gale has... From back... Uh, she's got one attack. And she's got healing. Let's fucking kill a hag. Just bring in buttloads of food, just in case. All right, here we go. Tourism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. 
My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Get in my belly! Can you use items? Like holy water on shrines? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, you use them for different things. I didn't come across items to use last time in the proper context, but yeah, you, you'd use them to disarm traps and increase the likelihood of rewards. Ambushed by foul invention. Look at that. Scroats is already super fucking stressed out. Because he hit a trap, he resisted it, but he got stressed. Oh my god, this giant. Luckily, Reynold has got a, a weapon that can bring him back to the front while he still does damage. What can we do? Do I want to mark for death him? Yeah. He'll take more damage from certain attacks now. For the the stress, the stress fucker now. Um, pull, dodge, great, awesome. Confusion spores. Oh, I went for the wrong person. I thought that was a. Oh, I thought that was an AOE attack. Scroats is is super stressed out. Is that collect bounty? Yeah, that was collect bounty. Just checking. Okay, now we could probably start healing a bit. Um, just do a whole party heal, why not? And uh, we've got a vulnerability hex. He resisted the hex. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yes! That fucking crit was so good, I felt it in my balls. So did Scroats. But Scroats needs to get the fuck out of here. And never mind, we're all rearranged again. Ah, oh, that's a shitty. That sucks. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, it's a, this is a good party. It's just you know, blow. not off to the best start. That's a hell of a first battle to fight. Okay, it's a big map, so all we have to do is find the hag and kill. Trap. Oh man, here we go again. Tenacious crone. Tenacious fucking crone. Um, going for the crone first. Let's 
kill the party. Fucking, he's up front again. Scrotes is all the way up front again, guys. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. OTDQ, hello. Are you a developer on Darkest Dungeon, my friend? I don't know which one of you guys we interviewed last year at PAX. Not this PAX, the previous one, obviously. But um, you guys were really, really cool. And, uh, you know, we've been definitely digging this game. So, thank you for making a really, really good game and not releasing it until it was in a, a good form. You co-run the sound team. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, man, I've had a lot of fun with this game, and I continue to have fun with it, so I uh, look forward to future updates. I'm just getting a little stressed, just like my characters right now, though, because... Fucking Scrotes. I don't know if you can see him, but Scrotes keeps getting pushed to the front. Fucking scrotes, always. It's classic scrotes. And he keeps getting groped by mushrooms. Which normally would be okay on vine sauce, but this is... It's its unacceptable right now. Oh my god. Scrotes is taking a lot of damage. You, you go back. You, you have to go back, Scrotes. The sound in this game is very good. Music is great. Voice acting is great. Sound effects. Everything's mixed well. It's a very visceral, visceral experience. I know what that word means. I went to school for it. It means of the vis. This fight is, is really not, not going so great at all. What I have to do is start buffing my, my people better. Nice! No heals there. That was cool. Quickly the time. Oh my god! Oh, he's on death's door. No. No, 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 Reynold, we need you. A victory nonetheless. Okay, we've got a map. That helps. Great. Okay, that definitely helps. Um, but what I need to do now is camp. I have no choice. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. So Rats camping in a maze. Despite all their rage. Um camping is when you get a chance to heal up a bit and reduce stress and buff your party. So, we're gonna heal Reynold. We're gonna heal Reynold again. Um, all companions, zealous speech, heal and reduce stress. Let's not do that just yet. Let's encourage Scrotes, remove some of his stress. Um, do we have other good healing? If religious, heal 15. If not religious, heal 5. Uh, fuck it. Reynold is religious. And that was pretty cheap, too, so I was able to do that at a fairly low cost. Um, I definitely want to reduce stress by 
Let's scroat. And how many is left? Two? I don't think I... Oh, wait. Two is good. I can do... Um, I can buff or I can reduce stress. Increase stress, but extra damage. Or I can just do stress resist. Um, looks like we got a buff incoming. Plus 10 accuracy. Plus 5% crit chance. That's... Let's hit Reynold with that buff. The narrator is Wayne June. That's his name. Oh, he's amazing. And, uh, I think he's absolutely perfect for this game. The light. The promise of safety. Okay. So we're in shape now. We're in business. And now I can move on. Um... I'm not going down, I'm just going to go left. Stash heirlooms. Custom. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. A victim. I love the way he says his words sometimes. There's some great words. Victim. Oh, no. Oh, they're surprised. So now I have a chance to attack them. First. Probably take this opportunity to heal a little bit as well. Um, do I want to do a pull or do I want to do... I'm going to try a pull. Well struck. Nice. Nice. There was a resist, but the pull went well. Alright. Um, Zealous accusation. Let's do some protection. It's buff. Eldritch pull. Please don't work. Please don't work. Please don't work. God damn it! Scroats is up front again. Oh. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! This combination of enemies sucks. God damn it! I finally killed it. Everyone's missing. Everyone sucks. Everyone's missing. Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. <laughs> Come on, we need that holy lance, Reynold. Nice. Nice. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of passion I need from you, Reynold. You've got a fucking... Uh, you've got passion? Did you lose it? Huh? Did you lose your passion for cooking? Try to keep those heels up as well. Alright, Reynold dodging. He's, he's fucking hitting his mark. Yes! Reynold! MVP of the fucking team! Victories mount, so too will resistance. I didn't bring a key with me. It was trapped. And now I have blight. And I don't have anything that can cure that blight right now, so... them again. Alright, maybe now... Maybe now some good things will happen. Ah, I tried to give him an uppercut. Didn't happen. Uh, let's try the artillery. Yeah, Cthulhu 
the Thoggin. Party heal. Hey, OTDQ, I'm curious. Um, how involved was the sound team from the beginning, from the start of the game's development? Just out of curiosity. Like, was, was the sound design a huge part of this game's overall direction from the start, or was that like a later on thing? Do this again. Yeah, we'll do the, the noodly appendages yet again. Nice. Nice attack. This is a good chance to heal up, too. We were very on... We were on from very early stage, just after Wayne was brought on board. Okay. That's cool. You helped with the Kickstarter pitch, and we're involved in conversations well before we actually did any work. Okay. So you guys were really, really on this game. That was a really good heal. <laughs> Exceptionally good heal. What's your favorite class? OT, DQ. Oh. oh, man. It's like sports when people clap at the screen. I never understood it. Now I do. You son of a bitch. You dirty bastard, son of a bitch, you know that. Uh, we need these. <clears throat> we need these. Uh, we'll get rid of this, this jade here. Again, they're surprised. Things are looking up, I think. Mark you for death. Now this time I'm not fucking around. I'm marking people for death. A singular strike! You like the Jester because he looks like a badass and owns face with a loot. Jester is cool. Yeah, I like the Jester too. I don't use them very much. They are a cool class, but I find my playstyle favors this combination and um, variations thereof. Buff it up. Okay, we're gonna do a hex. Cold Jester. Nice crit. Oh, things are going well. Uh, But Jingle is our friend. Dodge! Don't dodge that attack. You need better accuracy, Willoughby. You're disappointing me. Marked twice. The same guy is marked twice. No. Stop hurting, Willoughby. that bounty, son. All right. A zealous accusation should take care of the both of them. Ooh. Willoughby is getting picked on. And he's on death's door. Please don't die, Willoughby. I need you. 
I need you in my life. Escape cloud. Oh, thank God, that was a miss. Come on, we need to heal him. Six. All right, I'll take a six. It's fine. All right. And uh, we need to heal Willoughby again. And Mushroom Fucker needs to die. Vinny needs to make another album. Good news is that's exactly what I'm doing. They can be beaten. In the next week or two, I will begin making my next album. I'm all practiced up, and uh, we have a bunch of songs ready to go. So you will get another album soon, this year, more than likely. Even if it's not a full one, looking at I'm looking at 12 to 13 songs, but you know, let's just say things don't go quickly or things just kind of peter out. You're going to get at least, like, six. So. That's where I'm at with that. Alright, we need to discard a few things. I'm going to discard the bandage. What else could I discard? The match is struck. A blazing star is born. And, uh, I need these deeds. Okay, let's keep moving. Viper, the rapper Viper will be guesting on this uh, on this record. I mean, Viper is making an album a day. Why can't I even like? Why does it take? Why would it take me so long? When Viper is is fucking making a full album every day. You know, talk about getting inspirations from the strangest places. Vinny, do a Twix commercial with your voice. Para del mundo, Twix. Para Espanuro. Mundo, 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 Twix. Para mundo. How's that? Surprised. Okay, we got a, another chance here to, to do a little bit of damage. I'm not gonna squander it. Do the damage that we need to do. We're gonna use the, the tentacles. And uh, what do we all? What else we got here? We got, we gotta. Maybe we'll just kill this guy. Just one less person that can damage my team. Songs from the Vine is an awesome name for an album. It's not terrible. What about Terminal 7 for a band name? It sounds too serious. Luigi, you got Terminal 7! Like, it sounds kind of cool, but it's too serious for what I'm thinking about. Like, our, our thing is. So, I don't know. Let's just mark this guy and get him the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Terminal 7, Songs from the Vine. That would pretty much guarantee that people would know that it's Vine Sauce related. Songs from the Vine. That is for you. Close your eyes and see the skies are falling. Mm -hmm. 
How about Kings of the Bone Age? yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, this is going pretty well so far. But we definitely have um we have a boss coming up. And In radiance, may we find victory. Well, I have some food, so I may as well heal up a bit. I mean, may as well use all of it, right? Viper is a gangster. Twisted okay. And maniacal, a slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Am I ignoring the hag or am I ignoring the cauldron? <laughs> I forget. I know there's a way to do this. Ignore Cauldron. All right. Luckily, I have a nuke character. No, don't go into the pot. No, she's in the pot. Guys, how do I get her out of the pot? Do I have to... Do I have to hit the pot? Good, she's out. She took a little damage, but we're gonna get her back. In the front, though. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put scrotes in the pot. This boss sucks. Oh, I hate this. There you go. There's some good damage on the hag. But we, we now have to free her from this, this hell. Free him, rather. Scroats, I need you, Scroats. Put some frog. Why'd you put frogs on me? It's not seasoning. I know, we know you're boiling. I can't even use the, uh, collect debt. No, don't, 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 no, 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 no. Miss, 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 no, fuck. Shit, I need him. They will break out of there with zero HP. Ignore the pot. Okay. Plagagon Graben. Sorry, I can't. I can't hit your pot, Reynold. I need to. I need to kill. Uh, Scroats, don't die, buddy. Don't die.
Don't, don't, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> collect that bounty. No, can't collect the bounty. Because she's in the front. Ugh. Damn it, she's not in the front, rather. She has to be in the front. Twenty eight HP left, or twenty three, rather. One good Reynold attack would would end this fa facade, the charade. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Okay, let's heal the party. Don't don't throw anyone else in the pot, old hag. And now the true test. Hold fast, or expire. Go ten, and a Reynold attack should do this. No, 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 no. Uh, in goes Willoughby. Come on, Reynold, you can do this. Don't season Reynold. He's a man, not food. And despondence. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Eleven. Nice heal for Reynold. If it's anyone who can do this, it's you, Reynold, I believe. No, I, I don't believe because you can't actually attack. She's in the back. Reynold has no ability to attack this woman. Don't do- no, not again! You fucking... Son of a bitch. Clarified in a oh, Willoughby, strike. don't die. I need you. Death oh, this is terrible. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Hopeless. Oh, no. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Yes! Justice! The bigger the beast. The greater the glory. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Reynold is justice. Justice fucking prevails. Look at all of these things I got too. This is so nice. I got so many deeds and crests. Fascinated with corpses. Nocturnal light above 75 minus 2 speed. We gotta get rid of that. Um, torn rotator cuff. <laughs> minus 5% damage. That's shit. For a nuke like uh, Willoughby. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Well, that was, yeah, that was insane. And things almost got really bad. But Reynold carried the team on his back. Dude. Carried the team, dude. So Reynold's got a lot of shit. Uh, or Willoughby. He's got minus 5% accuracy here. We gotta get rid of the torn ro rotator cuff first. 
And Reynolds, we gotta get rid of the Nocturnal. Um, then we... I'm gonna go in a minute, so that I'm just doing this for next time. But... Um, yeah, bar. I have enough money to upgrade some stuff next time. So that's good. Uh, Gale... Take her to a brothel. <laughs> She'll enjoy it. Um, we'll bring Murdoch to the Abbey. For some stress relief. And we also need Crossbone and Tokanova to be relieved of their stress too. No, not really. We can we can leave Tokanova, I think. Um So, the way this works is you can then, like, full it here. I could upgrade his skills, which I haven't, and I will soon. But, like, um, you know, you can upgrade how far you can take the skills. Like, reduce the cost of training and all that. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of his skills. Um, yeah, well, as you level them up. like judgment. I can increase the judgment stuff. Jolin's got judgment. Yeah, so we're gonna get extra judgment. There we go. Um, and then there's equipment upgrades. So there's a lot of stuff to do and, and that's why there's so many ways to make money in this game. This region will be added later. So these two regions aren't added yet, but there's just so many different quests in these three regions. It keep you busy for a while. Um, then there's bosses that you have to kill, like the Necromancer. Um, I don't even think I killed the Necromancer yet. I think I killed like, the Necromancer's Apprentice or some shit. The Apprentice Necromancer, yeah, yeah. I didn't even kill Swine Prince yet. But, alright. Hey, OTDQ, I have a question. I'm going to put you on the spot for a minute. And um, please, feel free to refuse this. What we like to do on Vine Sauce is uh, giveaways. So if you have an extra key sitting around that I could maybe give out, maybe just uh, email it on over to me. So next time I stream this game, we can do a raffle. And uh, I can give it to someone from the community. Just saying. Just saying. I like to hook up the community with keys if possible. I know there's people here that probably would like a copy. You know, if it's lying around. Now, no, no shame. It's for you guys. There's no shame. I have one already. I have exactly one key, actually, he says. Oh, shit. Not even kidding. Exactly one key. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, OTDQ, I'm going to send you a message on Twitch. Just uh, if If you are willing to part with it, for the community, for Vine Sauce, then uh, send it my way, and I'll stream Darkest Dungeon again sometime soon, and we'll do a raffle, and uh, give someone a chance to win the game. Sorry to put you on the spot, but I have no shame. Thanks for stopping by earlier. The message he's going to get is going to be a total surprise. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's already been sent. Oh. Solid snake. There it is. Okay, great. 
That's awesome. Um, OTDQ, I really appreciate that key. Uh, I will be streaming Darkest Dungeon again sometime real soon, and I will be sure to give that away. Um, and actually, one of the things I've been planning to do for the fifth anniversary, which is coming up, is to buy a fuckload of Steam games for raffles. And this was going to be one of them. I think i um, probably going to compile like some of my favorite Steam games from the past five years that I've been streaming and just have the best ones all together, then do raffles for the fifth anniversary in May and just give the community a chance to win some of those games. So I'll probably end up buying a bunch of copies of this just to give away. But this is great. And uh, again, thanks for stopping by. I really enjoy the game. KY enjoys it a lot too. And um, I look forward to more updates. The only problem I have with the game is that it can be slightly overwhelming. Like it's it's amazing. The you know it works well. It functions well. I like the gameplay. Like I love the art style. But sometimes you feel like you're not making too much progress because there's just so many things that you got to do. And um, you know there's a lot of deaths and a lot of stress and a lot of a lot of times your money is just going to keeping your guys sane. So. Yeah, progress can be slow, but for some people, I guess that's kind of amazing. For an impatient fuck like myself, maybe not so much. However, it's a small niggling, and uh, you know, you know how niggles is. You have a niggling, you get over it. It's it's stupid. I, it's a condition I have. It's called the chronic nigglings. But yeah, don't worry about that. So thank you again, OT DQ, for the key, and you know for everything else. Thanks for answering questions in the chat. That was a very unexpected and cool surprise. Now, if you will, my brethren, bear with me for a moment while we check the art. 